Since the beginning of 2021, over 600 billion worth of dollars has been ran off exchange to dark pools, and this is for AMC stock. Keep in mind, a lot of this is most likely high frequency wash sales, trading back and forth, but that's a lot of stolen buying pressure. Imagine the buying pressure, imagine where AMC stock price would be at if there wasn't this type of volume going on in the dark pools. If the public exchanges saw the buying pressure, what would AMC's share price truly be at? Sometimes they pump AMC now to get apes to buy weekly calls. That happened recently when Kramer's The Street put out articles saying squeeze was coming when we were up a little bit a week or so ago. Shares are the way. We will squeeze eventually, but not yet. Timing is not right. So fair warning, if you guys are investing into options, be very careful. For me personally, I only own shares of AMC stock. For me personally, I only own shares of AMC stock. And as this ape said, this article is directly from the street. It says why AMC stock might be ready for another squeeze. Just hold, this is literally all that needs to be done. AMC Moaz. AMC Citadel and other hedge funds are fighting for survival of their company. They literally cannot cover at this point. Imagine their short positions along with the possible of billions of synthetics. It's literally not possible. Their best outcome is to hold this down and we sell, which isn't happening. And they know it. This is a test of patience. How long can retail hold? History is on our side. Never doubt a group of pissed off people. Hold the line, apes. This ape has an interesting take. A lot of people always say that banks and hedge funds are making so much money shorting AMC. This ape says that if they were, then why would they all be posting massive losses? We are seeing a lot of banks post massive losses, especially with the conditions in the current economy. It's simple. They are trapped in their short positions. They should make people want to buy every single share available and wait for them. The divide couldn't be any more clear. Apes I know in real life are voting yes. The apes I trust are voting yes. Apes that post pictures supporting AMC say that they're voting yes. But on the other hand, we see angry trolls on here voting no. Adam Marin haters voting no. And others voting no. And take it from someone that's pretty involved in the community. It seems to be more or less exactly what this ape right here is saying. No, I'm not saying that there aren't real shareholders out there that are maybe not interested in voting yes. There definitely probably are some. But overall, it seems like for the most part, it's more or less the edgelords here on the internet that are saying to vote no and that they're going to vote no. But comment down below, yes or no, and be honest. Big difference between employee and executive and investor. Executives get shares as compensation for their work incentives to perform because basically their salary is based off the stock price rsus and stock options if they don't perform for shareholders companies they get replaced no big deal if they sell in fact it keeps them working there because they know if they want to get the next stock grant they need people to stay working there and doing a good job it's called incentivizing people with money capitalism learn it live it love it so it is interesting the further we get into this play, the more we're learning about all the intricacies, even the amount of shares that our CEO, Adam Aaron, owns, all these details that we wouldn't have known before we got into this play. But the more we know, the more data we have, the better it is in the long run.